So as some of you know, I created a project, as you see on the screen right here, called PyCast. Uh, the idea is to make your $35 Raspberry Pi, and well, technically you could use the $25 one, uh, but in my case, I'm using the Ethernet connected right into the um, router, uh, one of them. Uh, so the idea, again, is to make it like the Chromecast, where you can take something from your phone or your uh, desktop or whatever and send it. Well, mine's a little different. I'm making it open um, for everybody to get in on. You don't have to make apps, so to speak. However, you will be able to run your own, quote, protocol slash um, run apps, so to speak. And I'm sick of the little air quote, so I'll try to stop. But the idea is to make it so you can take a website or a video and whatnot and flick it. Uh, yes, and that is a quidinky dink that I happen to have a Windows uh app called Flickin where you can flick it from screen to screen but we're not here today about that we're here about the free open podcast so without further ado let's just show you basically as you see it is open and I tell you how to get started uh, you need Apache PHP MySQL and if you're someone like me who likes a nice looking thing uh, PHP my admin um, and then here I teach you how to test your HTTPD, which is the HTTP daemon, uh, your PHP install, how to open the terminal and what you need to type in order to get it tested, how to do your database, how to log in and uh, create uh, your tables and whatnot, uh, which are extremely important. And as you see here, API usage, it's very simple. You're just calling a simple PHP file uh, and uh, saying if you want a website, image, map, etc. Hopefully by tonight, you'll be able to do YouTube videos full screen as well. Uh, now, where the uh, Chromecast, you need Google Chrome, uh, the browser, um, and you aren't really able to do it from your phone, so to speak, or so what I hear with some things. Mine, there's no limitations. You pop it in, boom, you're done. Because it's a web-based API, you can do it anywhere. Now, what if you're at a company and you guys have different intranets and whatnot? Well, the good news is, and I'm going to show you this, is how you can put the file onto a remote server and still use your um, uh, grabber file on uh, the uh, Raspberry Pi um, and grab that information. So you don't even have to open up your network, no dynamic DNS junk or anything like that. Just use your regular web host um, and you're set. Uh, but I also give you the code, obviously, to do it um, locally. That's why the PHP and whatnot is required. So without further ado, let's get into this. Let's move our browser over here. Let's go ahead and open up uh, type PNC. We'll connect. Uh, the reason we're doing it this way is it's easier. Um, and uh, we can put it side by side, right? So here we are. Here we have the Pi uh, cast. Uh, right now I'm loading it for eight seconds. You could change it be one second which I don't recommend two seconds five seconds ten seconds ten seconds is probably a good time uh, but right now we'll do eight seconds just for the sake of the video so we'll go ahead and load the watch so every eight seconds it's gonna run that file so here we are um, the go cast and in this case like I said I'm running it from my server so it doesn't have to be necessarily local you can make it so it can be on your web hosting server which you could require a password to access like I have um, and I'm probably removing it from here in case somebody does try to access it, it will be gone. Um, so for the sake of website, what I've been doing to demo, cause kind of punching at Google being more open than them and they wouldn't even hire me. Nobody seems to want me anyways. So where we put website, we'll put Google like we've been doing. So watch our PyCast. Any second it should pop up loading the Google site. Again, we put eight seconds, maybe three seconds, five seconds is better for you. Um, but in a second, it should load our, uh, and as you see, it loaded uh, the Google home site, uh, home page rather. And again, we are doing this remote. So as you see, full screen, you have this. Um, and just to prove it, this is your actual um, browser window, Midori. So to close it from here, we'll do Alt F4. And it's closed and so as you see it's still loaded now you might be saying well how does that work exactly well it simply grabs the go uh, the grabcast um, and it inserts what protocol aka program we wanted to launch through in this case we were saying we wanted to use Midori now once we do the YouTube 
part, which should be up tonight, um, we're going to have a local uh, file and requesting it and doing some fancy little HTML uh, work. Uh, probably a little JavaScript too to make it so that it can be full screen and autoplay the video blacked out and do exactly what the PyCast does. Um, so right now we got the web page part done. Now you might be saying, well, I have a iPhone, I have a, 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 a Android phone, I have a Windows phone, um, and I have a Microsoft Surface, right? Um, well, the good news is, like I said, it is API based and you can make it so it doesn't necessarily have to be local, which you could access uh, with the dynamic IP, uh, dynamic DNS or uh, static IP if you had. Uh, but in this case, we're going to pretend we don't, we have nothing. So for the sake of uh, uh, testing, as you see here, we're going to go ahead and run something. So we're going to call the, uh, the grab, oops, I'm sorry, go cast. Uh, dot PHP question mark website and we'll put equals and we'll say since we're using Windows Phone you'll see uh, what we're loading right so again right here I don't know if this is in frame or whatever but let's watch our PyCast So we'll see in a second if it loads it. And I'm hoping I typed it in right. Yeah. And there we go. I didn't type it in right. Sorry, I had to chop the video up a little. I apologize. But the point is, we did it right from our Windows phone. Um, and the good news is, you know, it does work. It's a little slow loading the site that uh, we're loading here. It has a lot of elements. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and kill it. I never said the Raspberry Pi is quick, but, you know, it's also a page it hasn't been on to. But as you know, we did have a delay, one, for grabbing it, and two, uh, we're working off the Pi. Um, and again, it's a Microsoft page. You know they're putting a lot of stuff in it and it's downloading the whole site um, versus something else. So, you know, you could say, okay, well, how's YouTube gonna load then? Well, that's a good question, right? Let's uh, throw in YouTube and see how that works. So we know the browser's open, so the thing's taking forever is loading the actual website, um, which, you know, that I guess depends. Um, as you see, it thinks we're from the UK only because we're masking our IP address around here. Um, so, but anyways, as you see, uh, YouTube works on here. Um, obviously, because you're flicking it, again, I'm sorry, that's my app flicking, and I'm not meaning to do that. Uh, because we're sending it over to uh, the Pi, or Chromecast uh, in this case, maybe, um, we can't necessarily control it like a mouse, uh, which I am working on, but like I was saying, we're gonna be able to remotely control um, uh, the screen and whatnot with the virtual mouse in there and whatnot and change the cursor position based off of movement from the mouse. Um, so we are getting there and there's gonna be more features, like I said, YouTube and possibly Netflix. Um, maybe there's a Netflix app out there. I haven't looked into it, but no, we're gonna build one. Um, so anyways, uh, this is Lance Seidman. Check me out at, at Lance Seidman on Twitter. L-A-N-C-E-S-E-I-D, man. Uh, check the GitHub, github.com forward slash Lance Seidman forward slash podcast. And of course, uh, youtube.com forward slash tech me show, T-E-C-H-M-E-S-H-O-W. Um, and that's it for me. Uh, and I hope, uh, well, you'll come and join uh, PyCast, work on it, maybe tell your friends or uh, add something to it or even make a suggestion. Thank you.